Joey Antonelli here for you, and raspy voice Joey is here right now because I'm getting over a cold, but we got a good video coming up for you. And sometimes one of the hard things with these videos is actually the filming part. It's just such fast pace, especially when we're doing what we're doing in this, and that is Cobia Mayhem. Cobia on sharks, and you know, you've heard me preach it before. I don't like necessarily fishing Cobia on sharks if we're getting them eaten by sharks, but we weren't, so we were doing it. We were hooking the Cobias really close to the surface, really close to the boat. And this is what I was using, my gunner tackle jigs. Uh, I got a few different jigs I like, but gunner tackle is one of them. And the reason I like using them for this is the hook is absolutely insane. There you go, if you can see that hook. Ooh, and the shirt. I've worn this shirt for a while, but I haven't shown it to you guys. Some new gear. I'll put the link up on the channel. It's a new bull shark shirt. Cobia bull sharks. Pretty, pretty ideal video to premiere it in. A little Cobia fishing on some bull sharks. And it was nonstop action, but we'll show it to you now. Kobe on the jig. Joey's got a Kobe on the jig. <laughs> and I got a shark looking at him too. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, grab that net, Mark. Look at the off to the surface now. Look at all the coves on look at all the coves right here. Oh yeah. Kobe, Mine's a keeper. Right Mine's a good one. Good Kobe, Joey. Gaff or net mark, your call. Your, your call, you just tell me what to do. Better reach for the gaff. You want a gaff? Come on. I just let mine swim because the sharks were about to eat them. Alright, let's go back on hard. Alright, Mark, get ready. Here, give me the net, give me the gaff. Robin, you want a gaff or net on yours? Here, I got this. Go get Robin's. Got it? You yep. Got okay, go get Robin, go get Robin. I'm good. I just got this big lead. I'm trying not to hit the boat with it. All right. Okay, here, now take this mark. Yep. You got the jig? Yep, right here. Come come, honey. Come get on the side. He's running. All right, I'm coming over there with this too. What do you think, honey? I don't think it's good. All right. All right. Got this. I'm going to try to get him anyway, man. What do you think, Joey? I think he's good, but I think he's nettable. You got him right here. No, I think he's good. I think he's good. All right, we got him. Yeah, Double Cobia starting off the day. I think he's good, honey. Two keepers. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job. Woo! Turn on. First one's 35. We just had him on the stick. And the other one, you don't even need to measure him. He's really good. That's a nice one. He's going to he's gonna top it out. Right? At oh, yeah. It's about 30. 37, 37, 38. 38. Nice coves. <laughs> All right, Joey. Look at that thing. I think that's a good Cobia. Nice Cobia on the Gunner's Tackle Jig. Look at that guy. I got Cobias right here. Another one, Joey? Yeah, he's a little guy. Cinema. That jig has so 
let's put a strong hook on it. Start off good with some action, then it slowed down a little bit. We all lost a couple of fish. The sharks are definitely a little feisty and we don't want to keep feeding them to the sharks. But I'm gonna hop in there and check out what's going on down there. I don't know how brave I'm gonna be with the sharks and being one diver in the water. Or how, I'll, I'll be smart, I'll say I'm, I won't say I'm not brave, I'll say I'll be smart. Uh, but we're gearing up right now. Got the fins, got the gun, of course the mask will go on my head and we'll hop in. I have not been in the water in a long time and it felt awesome just to get in the water. Now I know there's a lot of sharks around and I'm the only one diving so I'm trying to be really smart about it. I did make a couple drops down and I'm just going to show you a couple little highlights of uh, what I found down there. Now I did see the sharks, I did see some cobia, but nothing extraordinary so we'll skip that. But the first drop down, actually I think it was the second drop down, is when this clip took place. I got down most of the way to the bottom and this guy caught my eye. A nice gag grouper. I wanted to see how close I could get and I got well within range and he gave me just a perfect broadside shot. If it had been a few days or a couple weeks later, that guy would have been lights out. Next was some giant red snappers, and as I was coming up from there, I saw another gag. Now I can still see where that first gag was, so I know this is a separate one, and it was a lot bigger. It might be kind of hard to tell in the video, but this gag was probably pushing 30 pounds, maybe even a little bit larger. It was a really, really nice fish. No, we want him to come up. We want him to come up. Get him up, Robin. No color yet. Coming right this way. All right, he's right here. I see him. No sharks on him. That's a gaffer. I mean, that's a netter. I'll, I'll net him just to be safe. Nope, you did good. Nice cobia. There we go. There you go. Robin's got another cobia for the day. It's like a cobia bazooka. All right, let's send him back. There he goes. I don't mind being on camera anymore no. now. Right? Another pilchard. Oh, that one's not going out. Oh, anyway, so. Oh, you don't think he's a keeper? No. No. Oh, okay. well, I don't want to shout again. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, shark's back on him, but you keep going, keep going, keep going. You got him. Right there. I'm trying to get off the net. There we go. There we go. Another cobia in the boat. Is he gaffer? Right You're in the good spot right he now. Might be good. He might I think he's good. He might be good. He might be good, honey. I just hate gaffing those yeah, borderline yeah. ones. Oh, I just don't want to let just him really try not down. to let him go yeah, too far good. down. Be, put pressure on him, honey. I know, but that's, I've been losing every one of them doing that. Yeah. Well, there's no shark on him right now, so you're okay. No, there's a shark. There's, there's a, a shark down there, or that's a goliath. Right to you. All right, that'll go, honey. That's a keeper. Good job, Joey. Nice fish, Robin. That's a keeper. Good job, honey. That's a keeper. That's a good fish. Easily a keeper. That is a nice cobia hooked up. So when these fish come up, they do circles. So that's why me and Mark are on opposite sides. We got a gap over here because sometimes he might be high enough over here, sometimes over there. Whoever gets the better shot first, take it. You might have a straight shot first, Joey. Yeah, you got it, Joey. It's all yours. I can't see him with the splashing. There you go, Mark. There you go, Robin. Let's get another one. Uh, don't freak out, fish. He heard me. Don't drop him in the water, though. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> nice fish, Robin. That is gonna be our third keeper for the box. The last yeah. one ended up being a little small, so we let it go. It was crazy to hop in the water. Got to see some fish, got to feel some cool water. And those gags, those are my targets for May. I'm gonna try to come get a big old grouper. That first gag was probably, I'm guessing 15 pounds or so. But that second one, that thing was thick. That thing had to be in the 30s. Uh, we might be cruising in or we might be making one more stop, but we're moving. Finished the day off with three keepers. Had some borderline ones and had some shark issues. So we decided to stop. But look what is inside them. 
when you catch these cobias out on the reef, they always have crabs and mantis shrimp in them. It's so cool. A couple different kinds of crabs too. That's like some kind of box crab. There's another mantis shrimp. A bunch of past crabs, I think they are. They have these like iridescent colors on their legs. They're so cool. I don't know what kind of crabs they are, but really cool looking. That's them.